Hello, my beautiful people of YouTube. How's everybody doing today? It has been a while since I uplo uploaded a video, but today I am uploading a video of how I power my van. Um, so a lot of people ask me, how do you power, how do you power? Now, I used to say that I used to hook up to um, a campground. We used to hook up to the electrical site, which was true. But ever since I got my new portable power station, I no longer have to do that. So this is what I use. This is called the All Powers power Portable Power Station, and it powers every single thing in this van, and I will show you demonstrations today. So right now, this is powered by solar. So that's the nice thing. So if you see on the side here, I have it hooked up with this cord and you can also hook it up to regular DC in a, or AC to the house. But right now it is charging from the sun. So if you come over here and if you want to step up there, honey, and show them what the, um, show them the, that's the solar panel that's mounted on the top. So this is taking power from the sun and it's charging the portable power station. So that is how that can charge. And from the sun, it's generally, if it's on a very low battery, from the sun, it could take up to three hours to charge fully. So on a nice sunny day like this, where there's no clouds in the sky, this thing can charge fast. So if you want to come and see right now, it is at 99% and it has 24 watts that's coming in. So that's pretty good. And so how it works for me, and like I said, it powers everything, including that air conditioner. And I will show you So how it works for me is I take this cord. So I wanted to make it kind of like an RV feel to where you only have to use one hug for everything in the van. So um, yeah, I did it like that, but I mean, if you end up getting something like this, you can do it how you want. But I just wanna, like when I'm camping, I can plug it into the electrical outlet and it powers everything in the van, just like with this. So I take this plug and it has four AC outlets, as you can see. So I have, you have to push the AC button on. And so I just take this, plug it in. The AC is on because it's green and it's also Bluetooth compatible. So you, hook, you can hook this up to your phone and get um, information for your phone. And it also has two lights. So that's pretty neat. But anywho, so now that it's plugged up and the AC is on, I'll show you everything that runs in the van. And when I say everything, I do mean everything. It is a sunny day, but I had to park in the sun to kind of show you guys how it charges. But, um, so I'm going to plug this up and the lights are going to come on in the van. So you want to show the van, the lights coming on. So I'm going to plug, so the lights just came on, see, off and on. So it plugs up in the lights. Okay. And now I'm going to get in and show you. So... Down here, we do have a microwave. And so yes, it plugs up the microwave. And you know what, I'll put a cup of water in there to show you guys that it do run the microwave. Just getting some water. <laughs> you see, water is in there. So I'll put it in the microwave. Close it up, start for seconds, and it is running the microwave. Now I'm gonna stop this for a minute and pause this, and I'm gonna have Jesse go back to the portable power station and it's going to show you how much power is drawing how much power the microwave is drawing so jesse go ahead and stand back there okay so i'm going to push start on the microwave and then jesse's going to pan over to this portable power station to show you how much power it's drawing okay so i'm pushing start and that's how much power is drawing i can't see it but however much it says it's drawing it's going to say um output so that's how much it's putting out so that's the microwave you can come back over here okay so now that that's warm and a cup of water I'm not gonna drink it because that's my hand washing water, but I just wanted to show you guys that it does warm something up. Um, before I was asked how I use my cooktop, well, guess what? It even powers the cooktop. Um, you know what? I can demonstrate that to you guys too. What I'll do is I'll plug up a pot of boiling water, a pot of water, and through the course of this video, we'll watch it boil, okay? I just wanna show you guys that it does work. If you're thinking about investing into something like this, then just know, oh my socks, just know that this portable power station, I would de definitely recommend. It's, um, it's 1,500 wattage, which means that um, you can plug anything into it that's 1,500 watts or lower. Um, yeah, but it, can, it has a capacity up to 2,200 watts. So, yeah. I'm just putting water in the pot. We're going to boil this while I show you other functions of the power station. Sorry, this is taking forever. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough water. You guys get the general gist. So, I'm just going to put this on the stove. I see it's plugged up uh, and it's working because it's on red. So if I turn on the heating element, that's going to turn green. So now it's green and it's heating everything up. And here, I'll take it so you don't have to walk back and sit back and show them how much power it's drawing. So it's at 572 power uh, watts that is pulling out. And a portable power station is still at 99%. So that's pretty good. Okay, so while that's warming up, you can go back over here. Yeah. So while the water is warming up and getting to boil, yes, we have an air conditioner in the van. And yes, you know what, actually though, I'm going to pause this because I'm not going to tell a lie. I don't know if it's going to work with both this on and this because this is a pretty powerful air conditioner. So I don't want anything to blow. I'm showing you, but it does power the air conditioner. Mm. So this is about an 1100 watt air conditioner. So that's how it can run the air conditioner because it is 1100 watts. So 
yeah as you can see it's on i hope you can hear it um i'll turn it to the max so you guys can hear everything but yeah it's nice and cool it is um fall right now summer is sadly gone but you know we're getting her ready getting prepared for next summer so i'm excited about that so it does run the air conditioner as you can see so i'll turn that off <laughs> all right guys so it also powers our fan so yeah this is cool it's nice <laughs> Um, so this is on high, so it powers the fan. And then if you do decide to invest in one of these, it, the manual will tell you what it all can run and for how long it'll um, run it for, so that's pretty nice. And then, who can have van life without coffee, right? I know I need coffee, my husband not as much as me, but I need my coffee. So it does make a little pot of coffee. I don't know, I don't know how much you guys want me to demonstrate, but I mean, can you just take me for my word that it does make warm up the coffee um coffee pot i promise you it does because this is only 650 watts so that's how much it takes to power the coffee i would i would make some but i did have coffee this morning already so i'm not trying to overdose myself on caffeine but so it also makes coffee in our coffee pot okay now in addition okay i'm going to turn back on the heating element so you guys can see and i'll show you how much power oh, did i already show you guys i'll show you again how much power is drawing from the portable power station so it's drawing 868 watts of for the stove okay now another thing that it can power guess what guys it can even power our tv Sorry, I have it hooked up so when I'm driving, it doesn't fly everywhere. So that's why, yeah, that was kind of hard. <laughs> but, um, so turn on the TV. Make sure that's still on. See the green light still on. And it powers our TV. And the Roku. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think of, is there anything else? I mean, obviously it powers the lights. Um, the little lamp we have here. It's not plugged up, but it powers the lamp. Um, so right now we're just waiting for the water to boil. So while the water is boiling, I will show you where I, I'll do that later. I will show you, you can get out, <laughs> where I keep it. Because I don't, where you have, where it's sitting at, I don't keep it there. Um, so like I said, it is plugged up. And what I, where I keep it is right here beside the bed. Right in this spot, right here is where I keep it. And it's well ventilated through the back, if you can tell. So that's where I house it. Um, it's, it doesn't sit right here. Because as you can see, just trying to get things from there can get really difficult. But I'm um, gonna see if I'm forgetting anything. So yeah, it powers everything. I think I showed you a demonstration of everything that it powers. Um, but now we're just waiting for the water to boil. So if you have like noodles, if you wanna go to a park and um, make spaghettis or you know anything that you can boil, you can make with um, that portable power station. Um, am I forgetting anything, guys? I feel like I showed you the microwave. I showed you the air conditioner. I showed you the. I'm showing you the stove. I showed you the lights, the fan. Um, anything that runs by power, pretty much all I showed you. Oh, the refrigerator. It does run the refrigerator and our refrigerator. I know I was forgetting something. Our refrigerator is up here. Let's see. All I'm going to do is push power and it'll come on. And then I'll make sure that it's on 31. So while that's running, let's go and check the water. We're going to go check the water. I'm going to check over here, make sure I didn't forget anything to show you guys. Oh, and so many people are wondering, well, how does she have everything plugged up in one? You see, it's like a very elaborate <laughs> plug system. But everything is plugged up all over here. So you have the air conditioner right here. It's plugged up. This is a stove. And it's just everything that powers my van is plugged up in here. Is it boiling? It's boiling, guys. <laughs> it's still boiling. Lots Yay. of steam. Yep. Yeah. And then, oh, this is, I can't forget about the little baby portable power station. This is the very first one that I got. Um, I barely use it, but I mean, every once in a while I do use her, but she's just a small version of the bigger one that's over there right now. So, um, same basic concept. You plug her up, plug things in. And, but yeah, this is the OG, but she couldn't power everything in my van like the baby is doing now. But, all right, guys. Jesse, you want to show them one more time? Mm -hmm. I'll go around. Yeah, definitely boiling. All right, so we're going to turn this off because I don't want us to burn ourselves. Oh, you know, usually this is put back, guys. I promise it's really safe. And then besides, I do have an expired extinguisher over here. But don't no one say anything about that or this hanging 
<laughs> Try to be a little bit more organized before I started this video. But see his. Anyway. So, um, yeah. Um, so just to reiterate, we do not live in this van. We only use it for camping and or day trips to like a park or anything. But if that's an option that you do have, possibly trying to convert to living in your van, then I would suggest this. I'll try to link it below. But I bought this about two years ago. So, um, and it's been two years, guys, since I bought that. I'm just not making a video. I'm so sorry. It's been crazy, hectic, crazy busy. But um, I would suggest that you buy one of these because three reasons why it's very portable. You can charge it off of a solar panel and it runs a lot of the major appliances that you could ever possibly put in a van. So I would definitely advise you get one of these. I'll tell you the name one more time. So once again, it's called the All Powers Portable Power Station. Now the one that I got, it did come with a solar panel and then it also comes with one that you can hook up into the wall and say regular ac so you can take this to a friend's house and to dunkin donuts starbucks if you're that brave hey you gotta do what you gotta do right and um plug it up and through the wall plug it takes up to two hours so it charges pretty fast um this this was seven hundred dollars i believe which is a big investment but i mean for free power and you it powers everything that i could possibly need um we haven't taken a long trip yet but if we were to take a long trip i would feel more comfortable and at ease because we do have this bad boy so um yeah i hope i covered everything um i hope you guys i hope this video was nice and clear and i hope that you can understand every, how this works and everything if not just drop a question below and i will try to answer it and all right guys the major news is <laughs> we are homeowners we bought a house Woo <laughs> so yeah that's our major news but yeah we are excited um we are we I, sh I will uh upload some videos if you guys want me to because we are doing some minor reservation <laughs> what do you call it minor changes changes to the house there you go yeah. that we can show you guys what we're doing <laughs> and then also we're also investing in a t in a shed and if you guys go back a couple videos back like maybe four or five years ago you see that i started to convert that house into i mean that tiny shed into a tiny house so i'm excited to possibly work on that not sure how my husband feels but that's gonna be my project but we will use it for storage but i also want to see if i still got the skills to um make it into a tiny home so renovations that's the word i was looking yeah. for renovations but anyways so yeah you guys stay tuned for more um videos to come and more updates about us and if you guys want to see a tour of the new way the van is set up just let me know um drop the questions down below because the first time i showed you i was single obviously i'm not single anymore and we have camped in this uh two times the first time it did not work three times, three times. the first two times it did not work and so i think third time is the charm so we finally got it to work but if you guys like to see how we make this tiny minivan work for two then just let me know but anyways thank you guys so much for watching Thank you for joining us on this journey. And please be on the lookout for more videos to come. Guys, have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.